children's advocate and founders entrepreneur and if you're trying to make sense of how to explain everything that's going on in our capital to your kids here's a little uh, reflection for you the way to make this an educational moment for children is to talk with them about bullying and all the harm that it can create in for the bullies themselves and everyone who doesn't stand up to the bullies so who's a bully a bully is a person who refuses to take no for an answer in normal relationships when somebody says no everything stops and you figure out how to move forward from there but when you're dealing with a bully they think that the world revolves around them and everything is about them so if they don't get what they want uh, they're not happy at all and they use force they nag you they uh, threaten you they do all sorts of things anything that will work and that's why we need to stand up to bullies because unless they realize that what they're doing is not working they're going to keep on doing whatever it is that they're doing to get their way and very often what they want from you and from everybody else gets crazier and crazier as they keep on getting their way so how do you stand up to bullies first of all you get adults involved right adults get to have some uh, power over the situation they know all the gimmicks that bullies are using to threaten you and hurt you and uh, scare you basically so uh, you got to find an adult who's willing to intervene with the situation you might not always find the person immediately not all adults unfortunately want to do the right thing and so you got to keep telling the adults around you until you find one who's willing to do the right thing even when it's hard to do because usually bullies do bullying because they have some sort of an advantage uh, they can hurt people they can threaten people in one way or another and sometimes they can even threaten adults and so after you find a adult to help with the situation or while you're looking for an adult to help with the situation you get other kids to work with you because it's always better to come together and join your forces against bullying and that will make standing up to bullies much more easier it will make you stronger and safer against the bully and uh, do this every time you see somebody bullying somebody else because if the victim is not you right now there's no saying that it's not going to be you tomorrow or the other day so that's my two cents for parents who want to frame all this uh, to their children unfortunately we have to accept the truth the reality that our president is bullying the nation right now and although the nation has so much on our minds so many other important life uh, issues life or death issues for many people uh, getting food on the table uh, surviving with our families uh, stimulus checks that still haven't come uh, dealing with an epidemic that's uh, destroyed our economy uh, our social relationships our health our uh, mental health our physical health uh, instead of thinking about these issues uh, we're forced to deal with a crisis in the capital about an election that's over with we have to focus on our energy on what really matters and uh, to do that we have to stand up to the bully and say it will not work this is not 
what we do in this country. It cannot happen here and it will not. Thank you.